Right, good morning. Hello, everybody, peeps. How are we? Today, I'm going out for a little ride over to Bristol for lunch. I say Bristol, it's actually Canesham. I'm going to go over there and see a pal of mine and have a spot of lunch. And then maybe pop up to Riders, the Harley Deer in Bristol after. Have a little poke around, see what's up there. Get myself a little treat maybe, I don't know. We'll see. So yeah, so this will be good. I've not seen him for a long time. That's one of those things, isn't it? You get to meet people after a while. So traffic around here will probably be shocking. There we go. I'm not going to hang around too much because it is a fast to get up and down here. So we're just going to fan it around here and just do that. Mainly because I can, that's what I'm going to. Go, let the wheels cross. Never good for her, but it's even worse at the minute because the A36 is shut in Libby, which means that we're taking an awful lot more traffic than we normally would do. the bank holiday Monday. Not as sunny as I thought it was going to be. It's not really as warm as I thought it was going to be. That's why I got the big jacket on today. There's the old lock up there. I used to put all the naughty people once upon a time. You'd be struggling to get them all in there now, wouldn't you? This bit here, like you got to keep doing bloody hill starts all the way up here. But you don't need to wave at a crossing. I don't know why. So many people bloody do, don't they? It's ridiculous. Oh my god, we're on the way up, you fucking idiot. That's so how you get through that bit of traffic. It's always good fun, isn't it? 
So I've got a little ride out coming up on Saturday. Um, I dare say this video will be on next Tuesday. Yeah, we'll probably be out just before we go on it. So we're off on Saturday down to uh, Cheddar and then we're going to make our way down to Western and then back up through Barrington Coombe, around Chew Valley Lake and then we'll stop for lunch at Salt and Malt on Chew Valley Lake, the old fish and chip shop and then we will all go around some ways I guess we're all pretty much central to that sort of area anyway so and I'm planning a, a nice longer trip down to Lynmouth and around Exmoor for the day but I'm not entirely convinced we'll get that in this year. Depends. I'm off to Scotty Land in two weeks' time. So for a week, so I'll we'll be back to about mid-September. I'm going to go up rain and do the MC500. In a car, not on a bike this time. If there wasn't enough time to do it on a bike, I need more than a week. back and then uh, yeah see what happens for the rest of the year I guess heading towards those darker nights now and uh, I would say the shitty weather but that's already here so I don't really count does it although it is supposed to warm up and brighten up a bit more towards the end of the week we'll wait, wait and see jury still out on that one Of you across the valley over there, the water's Bath, Bathampton, and all that. Bath Eastern, just ahead of us, in front of us, I should say. And we're going to go up over the hills, up the dual carriageway, fly up that way. I was there, nice. Not only been out with the old camera much this year either, really. Going to do a bugger. I'll be taking loads up in Scotland for certain. So, happy days for that. I think we're still, still we're stopping too. We're stopping up at um, Inverness, obviously, um, for a couple of nights. And then we're going up round Wick. From Wick, we go all the way around to Dundonnell, um, which is after Isle of Fulham, and the other side on the way to Gerlop, uh, Paul you and Old Bay. So to Dundonnell, and then we'll go up over, we'll round the back where I showed dig, and then round the back, um, up over the Upcross Pass, and up in the Bray, and then we'll kind of come down there to Fort William, and stop in the night in Fort William. And then from Fort William, it's down the 82, 74, and then we will go down to Yorkshire, across the Yorkshire Moors, it's a place I've never been. So yeah, so we're going to take that route back, down through um, its halls, and then we go down one of the passes, we go for one of the passes, I can't remember which one it is now, and then we go down Matlock Bath, so we go through Matlock, and then I think we're just going to make our way straight back down then from Matlock, trying to avoid the motorways as much as possible, because I don't like the M6 because it's absolutely shocking. camera there but he can kind of see sod all there. I think I'll give the bike a bit of a check over tomorrow just have a look at it. Make sure if it's behaving itself.
there's no point in sitting there waiting in traffic, is there? Not when you haven't got to. I'm not going to dive up the inside either because you just never know. I've got my indicator on, but there's one that, yeah. Just takes one. Dodgy junction here, you want to watch this one. It's like a crossroads and, and then some down left goes over land, same pass or bath race course. Oh, there's a car in a ditch over there, see you know what I mean? But you know, it, it's, it's dodgy. So yeah. That's plenty. Speed have time, I remember these. Yeah, these will break your break your spine in half. There's a few of these I think up through here. A bit nicer on a bike than they are in a car. This one's the worst one. Ah, there it is. Fucking that is sore. And then we come down to a roundabout and turn right. My long suffering wife has to do this journey every day, bless her. Coming to work. I mean, that's a big old round of it there, isn't it? You wouldn't want to drive over that. Nice little area down there. Quite a lot going on. Nice walks, I think. I remember coming around here doing me uh, training when I was going to drive a bus. This will bring us down here through Cainsham and all that. Up to that roundabout and then we used to turn left at the top back up down. Head back in the bridge. Oh, look, cross there. That is what used to be left of the Fry's, uh, Cadbury's Fry's chocolate place. Wait, Cadbury's Fry's? Fry's chocolate? Anyway, Fry's chocolate. Make Turkish delights. That sort of shit. Uh, it's all now flats and stuff now they've turned it into. So, uh, yeah, that's what the factory is, you make the chocolate. Just all chocolate. Shut 
down some years ago. Yeah, that's a shame. So, yes, yeah, let's just come up here on the, on the left, I think, isn't it? So, we've got a lock keeper, yeah. That's a lock keeper one. Up on the canal. It's pretty. That's yeah, quite pretty. And then there's this one down here. 